the bookshelf roasts must burn. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another bookshelf roast here on the channel, where we're going to be taking a look at bookshelves that belong to you and giving my thoughts and opinions in a roast type style. I'm very excited to go ahead and jump on into this. It's been a minute since we've done a bookshelf roast, and this time we're green screening it, which means I am screwing over future editing Daniel, but f that guy. But before we go ahead and jump into that, I want to give a big thank you to today's sponsor, Squarespace. What you really, really want? I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I want you to sign up for Squarespace right now. If you believe it is something that you will need, and that is because Squarespace is the all-in-one platform that gives entrepreneurs a cutting edge, building beautiful websites, engaging with your audience, and selling anything from products to content to time, all in one place on your terms. And built into Squarespace itself are tools to help educate you as an entrepreneur. And so while you're learning the tips and tricks of the trade, your business itself will already be running just by going through the Squarespace process. Their asset library allows you to upload, organize, and access all of your content from one place, as well as manage all your files from one central hub and use them across the entire Squarespace platform. And for anyone who doesn't have a background in coding like myself and might be a little bit intimidated by the ideas of designing a website, that is why Squarespace provides you with flexible website templates that allow you to simply drag and drop so that you can customize it to reflect you personally. Whether it's blogs, email campaigns, appointment scheduling, gated member areas, and more, they've got everything you need to get started. So head on over to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Daniel Green for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain and just get your project running today. Now we're going to go ahead and jump on into our first ever video submission <laughs> to the bookshelf roasts. I'm really hoping it doesn't give off like the joke in Dark Knight video vibes. You know, I'm talking about the one where he, I think, murders a guy in a chair. I don't, I'm, I'm my bar is at, I don't want to see murder. So let's see if my bar is too high. Here's my bookshelf. I like it, I like it, girl, I like it. Keep on like it, girl, I like it. I like it, girl, I like it. Keep on like it, girl, I like it. I like it, girl, I like it. Keep on like it, girl, I like it. I like it, girl, I like it. Keep my bar was too high. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what we just watched, Kayla. I think they burned a copy of my book. Was that what it was? Maybe their whole house went up. If your house burned down, I'm really sorry, my friend. And if it was something else, maybe I'm not. I What the f What a vibe to start off. <laughs> Let's recover from that now. <laughs> Why was there a bear? Next up, we have a bookshelf submit from Monkey, which spelled with an O, so it's mm, zero key. Oh, you have the flight magic physic books. I read those when I was really young, and I have no idea if they hold up at all. I have a vague memory of a dragon hatching because it was like exposed to like a very specific set of circumstances that happened throughout the books. That might not be in there at all. I also remember a guy flying because he had a feather. Sure, but okay, let's get back in the actual bookshelf here. A little bit of vinyl on the bottom is a surprisingly common thing that I've encountered with bookshelves in my life, and I don't have any problems with. I think having a little bit of vinyl, it's just kind of classy. It's like, oh, does this person have a turntable? Do they have some tattoos? They probably have a beard. <laughs> I have no opinions on this Dallas player, though it looks like he has a beard. So I think we're leaning into the beard thing. And then we have this a lot of Juniper. So there's a heavy devotation to Juniper here. I think this is good. I think the biggest detriment overall is the shelf itself. It's just a vertical series of gray shelves. You could really try to decorate it to distract from that, but these give me office vibes. I these, This should be in an office bookshelf. I'm not gonna lie, there's like sometimes where there's a book that's like the philosophy of Batman. And I'm like, really? Is there a consistent philosophy of Batman? <laughs> I know, I know. I'm just like, I'm sure there is, and I'm sure the book is interesting and well-written, but I always just think of like the lowest common denominator for that character. I I would say, you know what? My roast of you is actually going to be a challenge. That's right, monkey. I'm challenging you to take on an Atlas level challenge. Wait, is it Atlas who pushes the boulder up the hill? That's, no, Atlas care. Who's the guy who... Sisyphus. 
Sisyphus? Is it Sisyphus? Yeah. Okay, Sisyphus, cool. I want you, and this is genuine, I really hope you do do this. If you don't, no judgment, but I think it'd be cool to go and build a shelf and keep it as cheap as you can. Go get some maybe used wood or go to Lowe's, just get some cheap boards, stain them, cut them, set them on up. Cause it looks like you got a big wall to work with here. And I think you would love a lot more uh, whatever you end up with uh, than this current shelf. Cause I can tell you love your books. I just don't think you necessarily love your shelf cause you haven't even done anything to it. So I would sell this shelf, take the money you get from that, buy some cheap wood, get some stain, cheap brackets and bam, you got something that's just specific to you. Undulate. So they crowd the book some. It's me and mine though. I respect that. So I can't complain, but I know Daniel will. Um, this is a lot, but it is very personal. I'm gonna say your biggest struggle here is just that your shelf is too small. You've outgrown the shelf you have, but you can keep this one and just get another. Um, you have some nice, beautiful stained wood shelf. That's cool. I actually like some of the knackage here. I don't have any particular issues with your knackage. I think the musket, dope. The sword, cool. Vegeta, Vegeta-ing. Uh, and obviously the mushroom and the little ocarina. I have actually no problems with your level of knackage, except get rid of that Mountain Dew can for the love of God. I'm gonna say C plus. I don't love the aesthetics. It is too crowded. You already addressed that. Is that a Funko Pop Pikachu? Did you try and hide a Funko Pop from me? Listen here, you little shit. That, if that's a Funko Pop Pikachu, I am gonna say I'm gonna come to your house and burn it out of 10. That's what I'm gonna give your final, because you tried to hide it. Okay, I gotta give you credit for the spear. That's rad. I don't, you're showing me your whole room now. <laughs> this person's like, hey, it's a bookshelf roast, but what do you think of my bedroom? <laughs> I'm gonna say I both fear and respect you, dump drunk Aaron. <laughs> now we're gonna move on here. Don't judge the cramped space too harshly. My wife, baby, and I live in a basement. No judgment at all. But just in case, here's my puppy. Oh. Okay, well, first of all, you're making good use of limited space. Everything's in cabinets, put away. I appreciate that immediately. You're respecting your space. We got a little bit of greenage up top. Ah, I wouldn't take it away. I would just commit a little bit more. I like the little succulent that I think is fake. I can't tell if it's fake or not. It's fake. It looks cute. Good amount of books, good selection of books. I like having the snacks right next to the book because let's just be honest, we all like to have a little sneaky snack going on while we're getting into it. I like the additional having a bit of a bookshelf where you've displayed some of the ones you really love. I overall approve. I don't have any major gripes with this one and I'm gonna give you a solid B. Good utilization of space. That's something I'm always gonna respect and think is pretty cool. My shelves and then in sections from left to right plus cat. Luma. Oh, thank you for telling me your cat's name. Luma's beautiful. These shelves are beautiful too. This is pretty damn impressive. White shelving, it is really hit or miss, but when it hits in a bright room, it's so lovely. And I think the colors of the spines have been strategically placed here to uh, definitely come across with a strong vibe. I really do like the center decoration of the solar system. That could have easily been a fumble. Not sure how I feel about the poofs. Stars are cool. Uh, it's a bit stereotypical. I look at this and I go, I know who this person is. <laughs> you know, like, like, not, like, not genuinely, I don't know you. But like, I get a vibe and I'm like, I know 40 people whose house this would go in, but all 40 of those people I'd want to have in my friend group. Let's grab a beer. What do you say? I'm supposed to be roasting right now, but this has been more of a bookshelf toasting. Shout out, Gavin. I think it's cool. It could do a little more personalization because everything I'm seeing here is like a kind of general fandom. I want to see something that reflects you. Give me your heart and soul and put it on your shelf. But uh, overall, killer. Okay, this is coming from uh, Kendall94. I'm a 94 baby too, what's up? Here's my bookcase for review. The two bookcases on the left are dedicated to fiction and the two on the right are dedicated to nonfiction. Wow. I would be remiss of me not to include two dogs. This is what I like about Discord. Y'all deliver on the pets. Twitter, very, very lower pet to bookshelf ratio. We're like batting well over 50 right now. First of all, dog, best boy. And we have a cat reading in a photo. Quirky, fun, I love it. Little messy, not gonna lie. This is giving me a bit messy vibes. Also the plant, it's just kind of thrown on and drapey. I don't know what smartphones y'all have that you're taking these photos with, but this grainy, it's, I can't even make out a lot of the spines. I, I think you're doing an okay thing with the space right now. It's a lot, so it's kind of got that initial impact of wow, but you could do more. And I think you know you could do more. Right now, this is just a bookshelf with a little bit of knackage, 
but you're not playing with the lighting. You're not really bringing in some like more representations of your hobbies, which series are your favorites. I, I think this space could use, if I'm being honest, a Kayla touch. She's wonderful at adding those little light things, but I'm still gonna respect it. I still think you did a good job. Uh, there's no annoying knackage, and this strikes me like an adult's shelf, not a teenager's, which I'd hope you'd graduate to. Mine looked like a teenager with too much money's shelf. I don't know what that says about me, but. So I, I'm gonna give this a C. I think you could reach higher, but you got a great base. So not that this you should listen to me at all because I have absolutely no degree in interior design, but my only immediate thought that I saw was your bottom shelf, um, I would remove the boxes. I know it's great storage space for bookshelves, but the beautiful thing about your shelves is that it allows gaps to see the white backdrop, which makes it feel open and airy. When you get that bottom row that has um, just like boxes kind of piled in, it kind of makes it feel cluttered and very thick on the yeah, bottom. I and see. so I feel like if you just kept it all as like an open, a lot of those side stackers you have fill that bottom shelf. I know maybe you don't have the space for it, so that totally makes sense. But that would be my thing. It would make it feel nice and open and airy and breathable. Bookshelf roasting has come full circle. It's no longer bookshelf roasting. This is just home improvement and bookshelf improvement is this, the video. Okay, we have from a uh, vintage recorder player. <laughs> Great name, favorite name so far. Okay, I don't know why, and Kayla, feel free to disagree with me on this. I love the bare wood look uh, for a lot of shelves. I It makes me think handmade, homemade, even if it's not, because I'm an idiot. I like your layout of shelfage. I like that you have Lego. The Lego complements bookshelves so well every time. I've never seen it fail. I, you know where I'm gonna come in and critique you though. Like, oh, your stickers up top are cute, but down low, you got a pile of wire. Most people I know take their wires that they don't know what they go to or they're not using them right now, put them in a box and hide them in a closet, right? Like that's what I do. There's, everyone has a shame box. And for the boomers, it was a box of porn. Porn's online now. Now we all have shame boxes of wires. This needs to be put in a box and thrown, not thrown away, but thrown in a closet. It's, it's doing a lot to detract uh, from what I think is overall quite nice of a bookshelf. Once again, it looks like you could expand a little bit. I think what would look cute is getting a very similar shelf to this and just putting it next to it smaller, like a smaller version of the shelf, kind of doing a step down approach. It would clear up some of this over clutter and side stackers you have. And then like, while the owls are cute on the wall, get rid of the stars. It's, it's giving me those like stars you put on your ceiling when you were nine vibes that glow in the dark. Uh, so good overall little college dormy, but like exceptionally well done college dormy. Like if I saw this shelf in a college dorm, I go, damn, that person likes books. <laughs> oh no. From Thane, here are my bookshelves for your consideration. The first one looks like uh, a therapist who you shouldn't see on a second visits corner. Like where they put you and they, for some reason during the whole session, they're standing and looking at you. <laughs> like, I don't know why, but I do not like this vibe period. I think it's because like the shelf, first of all, this isn't a bookshelf. It's a board game shelf. Strange. I would either put it in the corner or do something more with the wall around it because it's barren to the point of mildly disturbing. The chair, I'm actually fine with the splash of color you get from the chair. I think it's a good splash of color. Maybe not that blanket. It kind of looks like you threw a dead zebra into a desert, but uh, let's move on to the actual bookshelf here. Better. The wood on wood is clashing. Like you're gonna you're gonna have a hard time with that. I would maybe throw a rug under it, something to separate that a little bit more. But the actual book layout, you're not overcrowded. Everything looks okay. You got some side stackers that are a bit unnecessary, but you're doing it to have that level off up top. I get you. I like the two Rubik's cubes, get a little bit of personality, get that Funko Pop, take it, throw it across the room, and then go burn it. But it's for having a Funko Pops is about as good as you can be. I'm gonna give you a D, but I feel like everything here has potential. So come check back in with me. Is that an easy bottle? Yeah, but it's filled with some kind of dirt in case that's like his mom's ashes. I don't oh, wanna that's insult that's him. Questions though, what did mom specifically want to be an idiot? Hey, his mother's favorite drinks was Izzy, and now he's got Izzy full of us. If I had to, if I was gonna burn you and put you in one soda bottle, which one would you want to be in? I don't drink soda. You gotta choose one. Um, Sprecher root beer. Okay, there we go. I got that now. Oh no. Uh, we got a few entries from Etiar. 
when the bookshelves have slowly spread over a few <laughs> decades. <laughs> Oh my god, dude. I've never thought a bookshelf could give me the impression of a virus. <laughs> like, one that is slowly spreading through the world. Like, a bookshelf that is consuming all that is. But you got it. Uh, the, the Also, the lighting not doing you any favors. All of this is crime scene photo lighting. I'm expecting to see, like, a blood smear on the bottom of the shelf in the corner. Oh my god. Uh, but I think you knew what you were getting into here. Uh, this is an F because I officially, I don't want to come into your bookshelf area. Uh, I know you can't find sh in this as well. Like this is clearly, there's no organization. They're all side stacked because you're just putting them here to get them out of the way. Uh, I will not doubt you are a book fan who has read a surprising amount of these. Totally. At the same time, Take a shower. Also, there's literally a skeleton in your closet. Hope I'm not too late. Only have the first three Wheel of Time books. That's good. Read them as you go. That's just economical. To try them out for the first time before committing to buying. Yeah, that's good. I'm not going to ding you for that. Almost too basic to roast. I am personally not a fan of the shelves that do like the uh, 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 thing. It just looks gimmicky is not the right word, but hey, if that's your style, that's your style. I think you can do a lot with these kind of shelves. I just also wouldn't have got it in black. Ooh, I'm I'm kind of telling you like, you've made a bunch of bad decisions. <laughs> uh, I wish you had pulled back the photo a little more so I could have actually gotten more of the room. It, I can't just say a whole lot here. So I'm, I'm gonna say, first of all, that murder dungeon, it was an F. He's well aware of it. This is also an F for very different reasons. That was an F because, you know, I don't want to touch things. This is an F because it's like, I, I would get nothing out of touching. <laughs> oh God, I love anytime there's slanted rubes. I... You wanna walk your little baby nuts around the block? Anytime there's slanted rubes, <laughs> I get so happy. It just, it like screams main character without being obnoxious about it. I love that you have like a photo with your friends. Boom, you're popular, you're loved. I hate that you have Funko Pops. Disgusting, you have terrible taste. It almost is made up for by the slanted roofs. I also like the cupboards down below. I just kind of imagine they're filled with books that you didn't like, so you're like, you go in the book dungeon. You could do more. And I think the slanted roofs are doing a lot of heavy lifting for you, but you've got the personalization. I like that this is clearly right by your bed, as we can see along the bottom, and you have a very unique yet nightstand there. Uh, I love this because it, it, it makes me feel loved. The more I look at the center shelf, the more it shouldn't work, but it does. I'm gonna say, again, it's like a C because you could just do a little bit, bit to elevate it so much higher. Uh, but just by default, it's it's gonna get you to a C just because of... You know exactly why. Uh, this guy has cubes on his walls. Okay, first of all, you say no to his cubes on his walls. He's got my books on those cubes. So immediately, A+. plus. <laughs> there is some work that could be done here. I do not like either of the style of shelves you've chosen, whether it's the cubes or your full shelf here. That being said though, I would also just turn it down half a notch in terms of bulky things decorating your shelf. Like you got a big Gary, you got another big stuffed animal, you got a sword, you got another big stuffed animal, you got a bunch of huge hefty one piece things on top. It's, it's overwhelming. I think those things could easily find a place in your home. I just wouldn't have them have a place here. And then I would maybe try and do some nice plantage, something to kind of blend this corner more because as is, it's it's kind of like stark. And the fact that you have these like two folding chairs tucked in there, I get you're trying to save room, but at the same time, it's not cozy. I think there's a very important desire for cozy in bookshelves and I don't want to cozy up to this one. So what would you, how would you make this bookshelf cozier? See for me cozy, instead of having square cubes, I would do floating shelves. I would do floating shelves and maybe do two layers so that way you can have more of a consistency kind of feeling on it rather than a staggered sporadic feeling. I would not make them the green that kind of almost matches the wall. I would make them something a bit different and then I'd put a very small just complimentary uh, track lighting that's hidden behind the books so you can get a nice pop on the wall as well. I think that would go a long way. Uh, you have the necessities, you have what is needed for a very cozy aesthetic. Um, I would just do that little bit extra and you'd get there. 
Finally upgraded my kids' playroom. They're getting old enough to start reading stuff on their own. We've got everything from Calvin and Hobbes to Shakespeare. Gotta raise them reading. I've added the crochet Lord of the Ring dolls my sister made us for Christmas. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> Especially for having kids around. It's impressive that everything's even on the shelf. The stuffed Lord of the Rings figures, brainwash them young, brainwash them right. Hell yeah, that's what my dad did to me and we're gonna do to our children. Only issue I have is there's just potential for more. Like you could, and I, I say this as someone who usually is telling people to do less, uh, you could actually fill this up a bit more, get some stuff up top, not too much, don't make it look top heavy. Maybe some additional light play, just kind of bring in those final touches that what do we always say? Compliment the cozy. Um, I also would really, maybe you already have this just out of frame, just love to see a nice little reading area built next to such a, uh, a well-stocked kid's space, especially with that shag rug. You, you got a lot of potential for gozies going on here. All right, and now I'm gonna jump up here to see Mariana. Ooh, Mariana, this is impressive. I always love it when shelves nearly go to the ceiling. I, it just gives me that like library aesthetic, no clue why. Uh, I think you have a nice bookends too. I would actually make it to the bridge faces is that how it's supposed to? I don't know. There's, yeah, I guess. Sure, make it. Why is this hurting my head so much? Turn the book. No, keep them as the, I don't know. Anyway, great collection of books. I think the light in the room, I don't know how big your window is or if this is just the perfect time of day. If it is, good time to take the photo. Uh, but really nice like splash of sunlight across the shelves. I like the Starry Night. People like give Starry Night crap because they're like, oh, everybody likes Starry Night. Yeah, everybody likes Starry Night because Starry Night's incredible. Anything uh, that is like built in to tell people to be quiet and leave you alone, that immediately gives you bonus points in my book. You get a B. I look at it, it's like, it's cute. It's like, shh, I'm reading. But you know the owner of that is like, I mean it though. You shut your mouth or I shut it for you. Oh, look at this person happens to have a couple of really great books on display. Oh my God. Yeah, you've managed to do a lot with a little. And I like that. I normally don't like the box shelves that are kind of floating in the wall. Cause I always want to just take away the middle slots and take away the sides and the roof and just have it be floating. But I actually really like this approach to it. Well, also a great collection of books. I, it's like you've built three different kinds of shelves to work with each other. And I think it's to great effect. I think this overall, yeah, I like it. I think you need to work with the lighting. Like there's all those things that I've said before that certainly could be brought in here as well. Uh, it's, uh, it's a little too tight, so I can't get a full perspective view on everything. There's a wire, I believe, coming out the side here that should be hidden. The ambition and care is put into this, that it's not sloppy. Like you could say a lot about this, but I like that it's not sloppy. I like the instruments next to it. I would find a way to put them displayed near it outside of their case, but maybe they are and it's just on the wall to the side. Pull out your photos a little bit, y'all. Maybe I've yelled at you the other way, but I don't know what I'm doing here. Holy shit. Um, okay, we're gonna shift gears here. This is under my bed from Little Gilfling 1992. You hurt me. There's like those, this AI photo that floats around online where you're like, it's not actually of anything, but it's composed of shapes that your brain wants to register as something you recognize. And so you're constantly like, I know what that, no, I don't know what that, what? It, I'm getting the exact same feeling looking at this. It's, it's a cluster in every sense of the word, almost like a mad rogue or something like a rogue who spent too much time out in the wild and now their cave is just full of like weird shit they've collected, but under a bed. And here's what I will give you, quite cozy in a way where I think there's a genuine fire hazard with all these exposed bulbs and a just lighter stuck to a shelf in a holder. This is so dangerous yet cozy. You have managed the rare combination of danger cozy. <laughs> I, uh, I like your photo where you met David Tennant, radical. And yeah, this, God, I, I can't believe I'm gonna say this. I'm giving you D for don't change a thing. I, I want people like this to exist in the world who give me anxiety, but you know what? You're an unstoppable force. I'm gonna give you that. I don't think there is anything I can do to change you from being who you are. And uh, this reflects you so honestly that I can't even be mad. Oh, wow. From Ava Jasmine. 
Um, I'm a sophomore in high school and I hope to get a lot more books by the end of this year. I hope my shelves are okay. Wow. Your shelves are awesome. Uh, I'm going to come in here and say there's a whole lot of people who are not sophomores in high school who could learn from you. Now, granted, I'm sure a lot of this is like, you know, you're still in the room you grew up in. So like, you know, it came with your parents. You have advantages here, but there is an aesthetic. There is a love of reading. There's a reflection of self that is beautiful. Uh, I really like how you've managed to match like the, the tree from behind you. I think that's the tree from uh, Ocarina of Time. It is just kind of beautiful. And the love for Zelda, mm, I'm always going to be there with you. What the f***? <laughs> that shark. <laughs> It's shark is half dune worm, which I never thought. Okay. Great reflections. Wait, total number of my books read to be read 70, 20. You have a, I love you. You have a running tally of your books and you've read over half of them. That's amazing. Uh, you kick ass and I can't wait to see my grade for you is I can't wait to see the shelf you build when you are an adult on your own, who's going to put aside money for like that beautiful representation of your hobby of reading. So, so cool. Silver guilt. Uh, I'm not even going to read whatever you're saying here in the text, because what I just want to say is you knew you were sending this to me and you kept two Funko Pops boldly on display. No, I want you to leave. Uh, this one looks like it's a bookshelf for uh, Tori B, my wonderful bookshelf, which I literally bought from my grandma. I bought from a grandma. Uh, top half is my aesthetic old books. Second is fiction. Third is nonfiction. And the bottom is my partner's books. I, I, I really wish I had said it before actually reading it out loud. I almost said before opening this, it looks like you bought it from your parents. And so I was, I was in the ballpark because you got it from a grandma. Whose grandma? because of the implication. I think it's a really cool shelf. It, it's not my personal taste, but I respect it because it's obviously held up. It's got some wear, but like not in an ugly way. It just looks good for the style that it is. Actually, yeah, these little leather bags are doing work. Oh, and the little bears in the sculpture one. That's nice. You could use some, like a lot of what we've talked about here, cleanup, decoration, but cute. I would give this a cute. I like this one. Um, work on the lighting in the room. Like that is what 80% of it comes down to for a lot of these. If you make the lighting cozy, maybe put a blanket on the bottom shelf, you know, just some, the implication. It's not, you're not gonna pull out the blanket. You're not gonna pull out the blanket. You're not gonna get all wrapped up. It's the implication of cozy, you know? It's inviting. It's like, hey book, come here. Come cuddle with me. Let's get through those pages. Let's take that dust jacket off. Because of the implication. I would just work on the cozy vibes and I would uh, crank them to a 10. And I, I'm i actually saying this to everybody. Anyone in this bookshelf roast who makes any of the changes Kayla and I suggest, tag me, at me on Discord when you do the updated photo and send it to me. I will re-look at it in the next episode and we will do like a glow up bookshelf roast. I think that's a way to keep these fresh and interesting is to see how people try to evolve it. So you all have special privileges for the next episode of Bookshelf Roasting and we will bring in additional bookshelves uh, of course too. But thank you everybody for tuning on into this episode of Bookshelf Roasting. Like and subscribe if you have not already and thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Have a go one y'all. Peace.